The crash happened just after noon, moments after the F-18 fighter jet had taken off on a training mission from the nearby Oceana Naval Station in Virginia Beach. I looked up and I could hear like three booms. A two-seat fighter jet, 30,000 pounds of titanium, steel and carbon fiber carrying a full load of fuel, 12,000 pounds. At the controls, a student pilot his fighter pilot instructor behind him, watching a catastrophe unfold. The plane went straight up with no sound, and then he went right into a dive. A dive directly into an apartment complex in a congested neighborhood just two miles from where the fighter jet had taken off moments before. The whole thing was in flames, the whole backyard, and then things started to explode, and I don't know, I mean, things just kept exploding. Both pilots managed to eject, but with just seconds to spare before the jet plunged into the apartments, residents who escaped the flames ran to their aid. And I saw the pilot, I saw the parachute on the house, and he was still connected to it, and he was laying on the ground with his face full of blood. He apologized sincerely for hitting our complex, and I, I told him, don't worry about it. While fire engines and emergency vehicles swarmed the complex, stunned neighbors lined the streets, some overcome by the shock of it all. I'm sorry, I've just got the shakes real bad. Investigators have already begun trying to piece together what happened. Initial indications uh, are that that aircraft uh, suffered uh, a, a catastrophic uh, mechanical malfunction. ABC News has learned that the jet, an older model F-18B, began leaking massive amounts of fuel on takeoff. The pilot shut down the engine with the fuel leak and tried to dump more, but could not keep it airborne. Okay, go! Takeoff in a fighter jet can be exhilarating and chaotic, as I experienced on a combat mission over Afghanistan. For the pilot's massive acceleration, the pool of gravity and an adrenaline rush all have to be dealt with, while at the same time flying an extraordinarily complex aircraft. It's a very, very uh, a difficult proposition, even for a seasoned, well, well experienced pilot, to be able to handle an engine failure or fire right after takeoff. Steve Ganyard, an ABC News consultant, is a former Marine F-18 pilot, as well as an instructor and crash investigator. They were, I'm sure, well aware that they were overpopulated areas and they wanted to do everything they could to get that airplane away from populated areas, away from where if it went into the ground it would hurt people. The airplane wasn't flyable anymore and they were very close to the ground and, and as we saw, uh, landed very close to the wreckage, which tells me that it was a very late decision to eject. You can see just how close it might have been for these two pilots in this 2010 video of another fighter jet crash. That is the parachute there on the left. In 2008, the pilot of an F-18 that crashed outside of San Diego managed to eject as well, but a family of four on the ground perished. Maintenance issues and an older aircraft contributed to that crash. This will be one of the things that the investigators will look at. What caused this mishap? Was it, was it solely mechanical error? Did they lose an engine? Did they have a fire after takeoff? Why couldn't the airplane fly? Why did this crew lose control of this aircraft? And why did they have to make that decision to eject? Already, today's incident is raising questions about the proximity of the Oceana base to the community that had grown up around it over the years. I've lived here for 14 years, and I knew one day something like this was going to happen. Because, I mean, the jets, they just come in, and they're coming in lower, and it's scary. Efforts had been made in previous years to move the base, but no solution had been found. Today's fiery crash will almost certainly start the debate once again. For Nightline, I'm Martha Raddatz.